Uh, no, Gail, Charles, Gail, 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 you, I, you really can't say that because, A, you don't mean that. You, oh, I mean that sincerely. <laughs> I'm an old school 80s, 90s NBA guy. I've loved Barkley my entire life. I love how politically incorrect he is. I think he gets 90 plus percentage uh, percent of it right. But I think he dropped the ball on something here related to uh, Trump. Surprise, surprise. Take a look. What did you think? <sighs> Big sigh. First Big of all, sigh. I'm just going to say this. If I see a black person walking around with Trump mugs, I'm going to punch him in the face. Charles. I know, Gail. Charles. Gail, 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 you, I, you really can't say that because, A, you don't mean that. You, oh, I mean that sincerely. <laughs> I'm going to just tell you something. And then you will be arrested for assault. And then what? I'm going to bail myself what? out and go celebrate. <laughs> if I no, Don't seriously. encourage him. Don't encourage him. Okay, but it, go ahead. Seriously. Continue. <laughs> First of all, if I was at that... At that conference, yeah. I'd have got up and walked out. That was an insult to all black people. Mm -hmm. All right, first off, my producer just told me that apparently there's a picture of Mike Tyson wearing a Trump yeah. mugshot T-shirt, so we're going to put that up right now. I suspect Charles Barkley is not going to punch Mike Tyson. <laughs> no. Uh, no, look, I, if you've ever seen Charles Barkley swing a, a golf club, I, I don't think he could hit somebody in the face <laughs> if they stood still with their eyes closed. Yeah. Uh, here's what I'll say. I'm from Auburn, you know, where Charles mm -hmm, Barkley played. Mm -hmm. Charles Barkley is a legend. I, uh, again, I, I'm one of those people, and I say the same thing about Taylor Swift, not, not to put the cart before the horse, but I don't rely on great basketball analysts for incredible political commentary. Just like I don't go ask the baker down the street if he can make me a sword. Or I'm so glad when we weren't developing the, the A-bomb at the Manhattan Project, they just picked the best singer that we had in the country to go try and develop it. That's not how it works. Charles says some things I laugh at. I think he's really a comedian at the end of the day. Do I think this is a clip that they took out of context that maybe Charles hadn't heard before that they only played in that context and it upset him? I think that's a possibility. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to be swayed. I'm not going to go up or down based on the political you know, uh, innuendo or whatever of Charles Barkley. And I saw Wesley Hunt the other day say, listen, I know Charles is six foot six, but he ain't punching me in the face. And I guarantee <laughs> he's not. So uh, look, if uh, I, what I care about Charles Barkley, what's he, what I love him during March Madness, the NCAA yep. tournament, love him on, uh, you know, inside the NBA and him and Ernie and Shaq. I think they do an incredible job, yep. but I just, this is one of those things I just look yeah, at. Yeah, breaking right. news. You can't take anything serious. Charles Barkley says. No. <laughs> just terrible, man. It's, it's terrible. terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible, Dave. Trump is terrible.